What's up guys, I'm Jeff, the founder of Worldwide Cyclery, and today we are going to dive into the best mountain bike forks that are under $500. Well, we obviously usually dive into reviews of really high-end mountain bike stuff on this channel, um, but there's obviously a ton of people that are in the price range for an upgrade on their fork in between the $200 and $500 range, and that's what we're gonna focus on today. Um, if you're in that price point, I do recommend, we made a video called Upgrading the Fork on Your Mountain Bike, Everything You Need to Know. That's a YouTube video, check that out, as long as the article that accompanies with it. That goes over all of the very important details you absolutely need to know before you purchase a fork. That's things like your steer type, your axle, your brakes, um, your wheel size, all of that sort of stuff is very vital. So keep that in mind. Watch that video, read that article, and don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, we talk to people all day, every day about upgrading the fork on their mountain bike. Um, so any questions there, let us know. We're going to go into basically the most popular ones. RockShock, as you can kind of see on the table, more or less dominates this category. They just have a huge selection and just really good product in that sort of $200 to $500 price point but we got an offering from Manitou and Merzoki as well to talk about. So let's dive into these things. All right, so the number one fork to talk about right now is the RockShock Recon RL. This is the most popular fork that we sell in that $200 to $500 price point. These things start at $249 and they go up to $319 if you get the option that has the handlebar lockout on there. Um, these come in 29 and 27.5, 100 millimeters of travel, which is four inches. They all have QR axles on them and straight steers. Uh, they do have a compression adjustment and a lockout, which is really cool right here. And you have, it's an air sprung fork, so a huge range that you can sort of adjust this thing to in terms of body weights. Just don't forget to also buy a shock pump as well. You have a rebound adjuster down here. Um, again, this is sort of the most loved and most popular fork that we sell at this price point. So killer, just killer all around fork. RockShock just dominates this category, sort of like I said. Um, this is disc only as well. Again, check the article below in the video description to have all these things sort of laid out in text if you wanna look at more pictures and specs and variants and everything on this. Um, yeah, that's the number one fork. Now let's go to number two. Right here is the Recon Silver TK. So another part of uh, the Recon family, but the Silver TK variant. This is a 26 inch fork. Uh, so if you still got a 26 inch wheel, this is your guy. Uh, this is also a $249 fork. Cool thing about this is you can actually use it with rim brakes. So this is probably, I'd say probably the best fork out there on the market that you can still use with rim brakes. And of course you can still use it with disc. Uh, it does have little plugs in there right out of the box. So if you're not using disc, you got those caps right there. So disc or rim brake, um, it is an air sprung fork, which you'd expect at a $250 price point. You have a compression and lockout right here, a rebound down here. They're all QR axle and straight steers, which again, if it's a 26 inch wheeled bike, a very likely probably 99.9% .9 chance. It's got a QR axle and a straight steer. So this is the most popular 26 inch fork that we sell and probably your absolute best bet for a good upgrade on that 26er. Here we have the RockShock 30 Silver TK. So this is, if you're on a little bit more of a budget, this is $169. Um, the reason the price point is lower than most of the stuff on the table here is because this is a coil sprung fork. That means basically, instead of an air spring like all the rest of these guys have, this thing has a coil. That's a lot cheaper to manufacture. It's a little bit heavier um, and it has a little bit less range of adjustment. So you do have a preload adjustment which can more or less sort of tighten or loosen up that coil in there depending on your rider weight. But if you're a really light rider or a heavier rider, it might be a little challenging. You might have to get a different spring for it. You might have to swap that out. It's a little bit of a nightmare. I'd suggest not getting a coil fork if you're on the light side or the heavy side. If you're kind of average, coil's great, especially if you're in that $169 price point. Um, the 30 Silver TK comes in a 26, 27.5, or 29 inch wheel. All 100 mil travel, all straight steer, all QR axle. Uh, what else is on this thing? Oh yeah, disc or rim brake. So that's another nice feature on this thing. 
Uh, yeah, uh, you got a compression and lockout on this side, and well, yeah, there you go. I mean, this is probably your absolute best fork out there in that $169 price point. And uh, again, make sure you consider the pros and cons of coil versus air when you're upgrading your fork. And if it's really not too much of a difference, 169 versus 249, my recommendation is always to go with the air. But again, if you're kind of an average weight rider and your price point really just is 169, uh, this is the fork for you. So stepping away from RockShock for a moment, this is another really popular fork in this price range. This is the Manitou Markor. Uh, I wasn't sure what Markor was, so I Googled it, and it's a goat from Pakistan or something. <laughs> but kind of reminds me of parkour, like hardcore parkour in that Office episode, if you ever seen that. Parkour, parkour! Parkour, parkour! parkour! I'm right behind Woo! you, Andy! Come on! This is also a $249 fork, comes in 26, 27.5, or 29 wheel sizes. Um, it's 100 millimeters of travel. However, what kind of separates this from the RockShock forks is it does have internally adjustable travel. You do have to take the thing apart to make it happen, so there's a little bit of work involved there. Um, it actually does come with a travel spacer in the box. It goes all the way down to 80 millimeters of travel up to 120 mil, so that's a bit of a unique feature for a $249 fork. Uh, it is air sprung as well, which you'd expect at that price point, which is cool. Uh, the other thing that's cool about this fork that RockShock or any of the other guys don't touch is it comes with a decal kit. So out of the box, you have a white Manitou logo and a red one there, and these ones are a gray, so if you wanted to kind of tone down the colors, that comes right in the box with another decal kit, which is awesome. Um, these are all straight steer, and uh, yeah, QR axle, um, disc only. Manitou is kind of iconic with running their brake arch behind the stanchions as opposed to in front like most other brands, which has a really cool look to it. And so yeah, it's definitely another good option out there aside from the RockShox stuff. Um, like I said, air spring right there, uh, you have open and lockout mode, and you have your rebound down here, and yeah, another killer option that's got some unique features to it in that price point. We interrupt this program for an important news announcement. Parkour, parkour! Parkour, parkour! Parkour, parkour! Stepping up a little bit, we have the 30 Gold RL from RockShock. These things go from 349 to 439. Um, there's a lot of different variants in this fork, which is really cool. It does 26, 27.5, 29, 80, 100 millimeters, 120 millimeters of travel. Um, these are starting to come in straight and tapered options. Once you start bumping up price points, you're gonna start seeing everything be tapered. This is sort of right in the middle, so they offer a straight and a tapered variant. Uh, disc brake only. Uh, I believe they all are QR axles. Uh, it's an air sprung fork, of course, at this price point. You have compression and lockout here. You have five compression settings, just little dials right here with the last one being the total lockout. You have rebound right here. Um, again, a lot of different variants, so if you're trying to find something specific that fits your bike and you're in that, you know, $350 to $450 price point, this is one of the absolute best forks out there for that range, especially because it comes in so many different variants in terms of um, travel and wheel sizes and steer differences and all that. So yeah, the RockShox 30 Gold RL. Oh, I farted and smelled oh, awful. God, now I'm like sitting here having to do this video. All right, stepping over to the last two forks. These things are both at that $500 price point. They're $499. Um, you definitely see some pretty significant changes and upgrades in quality once you get to 499 uh, versus 249 and below. Uh, this thing right here, the Mirzoki Z2. So the Z2 is probably one of the oldest iconic forks out there. Uh, Mirzoki was a longtime suspension company. Probably everyone's familiar with the name. They went through a little bit of a rough patch, maybe five, 10 years ago, something like that. I declare bankruptcy! 
Um, Fox actually purchased the company. So now Fox is uh, basically taking Merzoki and making them all of their, uh, I would call them mid-range forks. They're definitely not low end. I guess none of this stuff's low end, but Fox is kind of staying on that premium price point for suspension and they're utilizing the Merzoki brand and their technology to make really good mid-range mountain bike stuff. And that's where this new Z2 comes into play. All right, so again, 499 bucks. This comes in 27.5 and 29 only, tapered only. 15 by 110 boost axle only. So again, once you start getting more expensive in forks, you start getting um, sort of variants that are only gonna be on a little bit higher end bikes, right? So all higher end bikes are not gonna have a QR axle or a straight steer. So once you kind of hit that $490, $99 price point, um, all the forks are just gonna have, you know, uh, 15 by 110 boost axles and tapered steers like this thing. Uh, travel options, 100 to 150. Uh, this thing does come in a red, which looks really cool. It's a gloss red. So that's probably one of the cooler looking forks at this price point for sure. Uh, of course it's air sprung. You do have 34 millimeter diameter stanchions. Stanchions, this piece right here. The bigger it gets, um, typically you're gonna have a stiffer fork that's a bit lighter, uh, which is a really good thing. And you're gonna see that in pretty much all the higher end forks, unless they're you know really weight focused cross country forks are gonna have a little bit bigger stanchions. Uh, so yeah, Merzoki Z2, 499 bucks, uh, solid setup. Of course it's air sprung. You've got sort of your, your rail damper, um, or yeah, rail damper, and you've got a firm and an open mode. Uh, firm basically is a lockout once you twist it over there. Uh, air adjustment over here, rebound down here. Um, really phenomenal fork for that $499 price point. And coming with that, you know, Fox, you know, name behind it, all the Merzoki technology, all the Fox technology, all kind of combined together. And the really good, just reliable name that it comes along with Fox and Merzoki. Well, RockShock's offering at that $499 price point is the 35 Gold RL. Uh, what's really cool about this thing, why they call it the 35, it does have 35 millimeter stanchions. That's the same stanchion diameter that you see on RockShox really premium suspension, the Pike and the Lyric and the Yari. Uh, so you know you're getting that large, lightweight, stiff chassis and stanchion on this thing, so it's gonna have a really good feel there, um, but still at a you know $499 price point, which is about half of what those other forks I just named go for. Uh, again, once you're at this price point, you're gonna get a 15 by 110 boost through axle only. You do have the option for torque caps. So that's a uh, sort of an end cap system that works only on RockShox forks. That gives you a lot more contact patch on there to give you sort of that 20 millimeter axle stiffness with the 15 by 110 weight. Uh, different video on hub end caps, but you do have that option with this fork. Uh, 27.5, 29 only, 100 to 150 mil travel options, tapered only. You have five compression settings and a lockout setting right here. Your air adjust is right over here and your rebound is right there. Uh, this does have a Debon air spring, which is sort of RockShox's name for their, you know, higher end air spring that just has that really good supple feel to it. This is, you know, one of the better feeling forks out there. And really you do kind of hit a level of diminishing returns in all bike stuff. Once you get to a certain price point, it doesn't really get all that much better. Um, and $499 price point for a fork. When you're looking at the Z2 and this 35 gold RL, both these things perform incredibly well. Um, the next level up, right, once you get to sort of that really premium segment in that $1,000 section, um, they're not gonna be double better, whereas this is for sure gonna be 2X or 3X better than the $249 variant. So just something to keep in mind with that sort of diminishing returns uh, when it comes to forks. Well, I hope that helped you guys out. If you're in that price point looking to upgrade the suspension fork on your mountain bike, uh, we know this stuff is confusing. We deal with it all day, every day and install these things and sell these things and talk about them. So uh, don't hesitate to reach out to us if you want a recommendation or just help with fitting one of these things on your bike and all that sort of fitment issues that go along with that. Uh, videos remember to check out is that, uh, you know, upgrading your suspension fork, what you need to know, that's gonna really help you out with the fitment stuff. Don't hesitate to reach out to us. Uh, make sure to check that, uh, article in the video description below where we have more sort of detail on all these things and links to everyone if you want to look at the different variants and check them out. Uh, yeah, let us know what you guys think down in the comments of these forks if you're thinking about upgrading and uh, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one. ABC.